In this final video, I would like to talk about separable differential equations and how they can be solved, how you can find all of their solutions. A differential equation, under what circumstances can it be called separable? It can be called separable if it's possible to rewrite the equation so that it has the following form. Some function of y only some function of y only times, and I'm going to put that in red, multiplied by y prime equals some function of x only. So we call this separable because we're able to rewrite the expression so that y and x are completely separated. But not only that, we have to be able to do it in such a way that the function of x that we obtain on the right hand side isolated the function of y that we obtain on the left hand side also has to be multiplied by y prime it is not enough to have it added to y prime that is not separable so let's see if the following separate equation is separable let's jump ahead a bit and let's look at this one y prime equals x times y plus x. Let's see if we can rewrite it so that we have a function of x only on the right hand side and a function of y only on the left hand side. Now the thing that's interesting to me about this equation is that both of these terms on the right hand side have an x in them which means that that x can be factored out. And since I factored out an x, I'm able to now divide both sides of this equation by the quantity 1 plus y. So look what we have obtained. On the left hand side, we have a function only in the variable y. No x's on the left hand side. That is being multiplied by y prime. And on the right hand side, we have not just a function of x alone, we actually have just x. So yes, this is a separable differential equation, since we were able to rewrite it in the form function of y times y prime equals x. Now, several differential equations, which once again look like this, y prime equals function of x, can be solved in the following technique. Think of y prime as dy over dx. Multiply both sides by dx. And that will give you the f of y times dy equals g of x dx and then integrate both sides. Integrate the left hand side. Integrate the function of y with respect to y and integrate the function of x with respect to x. So let's apply that idea to this example and let's go through and integrate the function on the left with respect to y and integrate the function on the right with respect to x. Now the integral of 1 over y with respect to y, we can use the natural log function for that. And the integral of x is x squared over 2. And don't forget somewhere you've got to have plus c because these are indefinite integrals. Now, this equation can be solved for y. For example, we can go in and we can defeat the natural log using an exponential, exponential base e. So now I find that 1 plus y is equal to e x squared over 2 plus c absolute value, I should say. 
which means that 1 plus y could be either the positive or the negative e to the x squared over 2 plus c, which means that y, the solution, could be equal to negative 1 plus or minus e x squared over 2 plus c. No matter what number you decide to add up there in the exponent level, 2x squared over 2, the resulting y will be the solution to that equation. So let's just do a quick test, quick check, with c equals 0, just to make sure that we have done everything correctly. Let's find y prime, the derivative of this function, the negative 1 vanishes and we're left with either plus or minus e to the x squared over 2 times 2x divided by 2 as a result of the chain rule. This 2 and this 2 will cancel. Now let's compare that with what we get on the other side. This is the left hand side of the differential equation. The right hand side was supposed to be x times y plus x. So that would be x times the quantity negative 1 plus or minus e to the x squared over 2 plus x. After distributing and after simplifying, that's an x, I apologize then it turns out that yes indeed, the left hand side and the right hand side of this differential equation work out to be the same. So we were able to find general format of the solutions to this differential equation because it was separable. And as you go forward into your future math classes, you will learn all kinds of techniques and tricks and silly little games that you can play to find more solutions to a greater variety of differential equations.